Hi, this is Layla Ali. Welcome back to Around the Clock. Today we're talking about how airbrushed images and magazines and such are creating an unrealistic expectation for kids and how their bodies should look. In the UK, parents are being urged to sit down with their kids and explain to them that these are not realistic images. They're actually looking to pass a law that makes it where magazines have to put a notice at the bottom saying that the photograph has been airbrushed or worked on so that kids know that the images are not real, I mean, as they see them. So, you know, I'm just wondering, do we think, ladies, that some of these same steps should be taken here in the U.S.? I absolutely think that we should look into doing this in the United States as well. It really is promoting poor body image with it. They look at themselves. They know they don't look like the covers, like the girls on the cover of these magazines. So I definitely think that labels should be put on all images. I am retouched every single time I'm in the mag any magazine. And I would pretty much say that almost every image we see in any magazine is retouched. Um, but that's very frustrating for me because I feel like, you know, I try to eat healthy, I try to exercise and look as good as I can. Like I want the image that's taken to be the image that's seen by the masses. I definitely agree with you, Ali. I think it, I think it is right to have um, a label on them. And uh, it's right to talk to our kids that, you know, all, you know, most of these photos that are taken are completely retouched, you know, um, you know, and it just sucks, like, because, you know, of course, I've had mine retouched. And, you know, it's not really my choice. You know, what I'm saying like, I like, like you, like, I, I work out really hard. I like, you know, I diet, I, I'll like, you know, I, I, I try and look good for the picture. And I think I look good, you know, even on the monitor. I'm like, dang, like, I love I love the way I look, you know, even if there is a little flat. This is some real stuff here. Everybody look at me. Like, we need more of that, you know what I'm saying? And um, uh, But sometimes, like, it's out of our kind of, it's out of my control sometimes. Uh, you know, um, I'll ne like, in Playboy, they took a little freckle off my stomach and I got pissed. I was like, <gasps> what where's my bowl you know it's, it's sometimes it's out of the per it's out of the model's control you know but it's up to the parents like always to to discuss it with their kids that this is uh these are retouched and um for us we are behind the scenes we've all been in magazines we've been retouched a lot of times this is retouched too much we don't even like how we look when people over retouch us but with kids i think it'd be great for us to start a movement where you know, celebrities, models, whatever it is, actresses, athletes, you know, we show these girls how we look unretouched because I think it's one thing to say it and it's another thing to show them, you know, if they're looking up to Miley Cyrus or for God's sakes, Kim Kardashian or, you know, whoever it may be, you know, I think that it'd be important for them to see them in their, their real life. So um, that would be great. Maybe that's something we should think about doing, ladies. One of my favorite things that I've ever seen in the media was when Britney Spears released a photo, an untouched photo of herself. And, and I thought it was the best thing she could have ever done. And it even inspired me, you know, and I think there needs to be more of that. And, you know, and it's and also in all these tabloids, these like bad tabloids, they have like they flaunt, um, you know, fat on their covers of the magazines and stuff like this is wrong. And then you see right next, you know, right next to it, Vogue magazine, which is so perfect, you know, and that's the image we're getting when we're walking by. And you're like, that's bad. And that's right. Like, no, it's so wrong. I think it's so wrong. We're human. <laughs> Well, I think at the end of the day, I mean, we know that they're retouched now and we still are going to look at it. It's just for those people who, you know, take it to that next level and start feeling bad about themselves. Maybe that little notice will do something. But I think at the end of the day, Kendra on your worst day, Allie on your worst day, on my worst day, there's still going to be a little girl out there. They could see us just wake up in the morning and, you know, like five pounds, 10 pounds heavier. And they're still going to be like, but you're still prettier than me. You know, so if you don't feel good about yourself, you're always going to find a reason to put yourself down. You know, and I think that's why it's so important for us to help these girls understand that it's not all just about looks. There might be somebody prettier, but it doesn't matter. You know, there's always something within you, you know what I mean, that can shine. So it's easy for us to say, 
But um, I know with my daughter, I'm gonna teach her to be confident, strong, smart, and you know, have lots of other things about herself so she's not gonna go around worried about her looks all the time. Absolutely. So I want to thank you guys for everything that you've shared with us, ladies. And I wanna invite our viewers to please leave a comment, tell us how you feel, did we strike a nerve with you? And we will see you next time on Around the Clock. Subscribe now. You'll never believe what our moms will be revealing on the next Around the Clock.